Hi guys, it's Tom, and I want to show you how to add leaves to trees in Photoshop and make it look natural. It's end of fall now, almost winter, so a lot of the deciduous trees just don't have leaves on them. These were actually planted recently, so they might have come this way, I'm not sure, but this is what we have, and they want the property to look nice, and we can't really control what season, you know, the property is ready in. So what we can do is we can add some leaves to these trees right here. Photoshop it makes it pretty easy to do, and I'm going to show you how to do it that makes it look pretty natural. So I'm gonna click on this plus icon on the bottom of my layers panel right here. That's gonna create a new layer. Now, I'm gonna go up here to filter, render, show all menu items. You've probably used clouds and different clouds in the past, maybe lens flare, and, but there is a, a few more options. There are a few more options here like flame and picture frame and tree. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a tree and there's a bunch of different options we could choose from. Oak, redwood, if you know what type of tree it is, you can choose that. I'm pretty sure these are maple based on what they look and they're obviously young since they were just planted. So I'm gonna choose young maple and I like to zoom in my image so that this preview image and the actual tree are about the same size. And then I can adjust the branch thickness to try to get it to match us just so that it looks a little more natural. The branch's height, now if we go all the way to the left, it lowers the branch where the branches start. If we go all the way to the right, it brings the branches up higher. So we wanna to try to match that as well. Maybe, what about eight maybe? Let's try that. Looks good. Uh, I turned off random my shapes. I'll show you what that does in a little bit. Now we wanna change the size of the leaves to make it look natural. If we make them really small, they're just growing in and then if we go too big then it just looks ridiculous so find something that looks natural in this situation maybe around 60 and how many leaves you want you could have zero or you can have a ton and somewhere in the middle again probably good maybe around 54 we change the light direction we go all the way to the left, the light's coming from the left. We go all the way to the right. You can see it's lighter on the right. Oops, let's actually move it. And here, based on the shadow, the light's coming just right of where we're standing, right, just right of the camera. So it's almost in the center, but a little to the right, something like that. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now, the other thing we could do, there are a hundred different trees we could choose from. And you could try to pick something that matches what you have, or you could go into randomize. I like to use randomize, I'll show you why. So let's just hit OK. We have a tree that looks like we want, and it's gonna render it on our current layer. We're gonna hit Control T to resize it. And I like to put the base right where the base is. And then bring the tops up so it covers the existing branches and then make any final adjustments. The key is we want the bottom of these branches to be where the real branches are. And control enter to close out that transformation. Now here's how we make it look a little more natural. If you go in, you see we have the new trunk right here. It doesn't look very real. What I like to do is I like to create a mask by alt clicking on the mask button to create a black mask, which is gonna hide everything. Shift click on that mask to disable it, then do select color range, then shift click on the colors in the trunk over there. And now we can hit OK. Shift click on the mask again, go into our brush, go to default colors, control shift I to invert the mask, control H to hide the mask. So right now I'm painting in just the leaves because I have the trunk masked out. I'm gonna paint in the bottom over here. And then once we go to the top, it's pretty full. So we don't need, we could actually disable the mask and just paint this in. I'll come in here and just paint a little over the trunk just to fill it out a little bit. And actually this whole thing, we don't even need this one. Just swap our colors and Erase that out. And it doesn't have to be too perfect. 
because this is going to be resized and once it goes online it's going to be compressed but actually it looks pretty good the lighting match matches the one thing we don't have is the shadow so let me show you how i'm going to fix that i'm going to duplicate the layer and then go back down to the bottom layer i'm going to move that down to about there and for some reason the shadow is smaller than the actual tree Based, yeah all right so we're gonna resize that to match the shadow there now I do want to like if you notice where the sidewalk meets the the wall the angle changes on the shadow because it's hitting a different surface so what I want to do is I want to mask this out with the lasso tool I right, turn this back on right click on that and do layer via cut and do alt click on the layer mask below and add the layer mask there too so now we have two different image two different layers making up half the tree so let's go to the bottom one and control t and let's change this to distort and just change that perspective a little bit now we can combine these again Control, select the two layers and hit Control E. So now it's just one again. And we want to change this to a dark color, just grayscale, Control U. And I don't want a lot of variability in the color. So I'm going to go into Curves tool, Control M. And I'm just going to bring down the whites almost all the way down. I do want a little bit of variation in there, just not a whole lot. So now we have our shadow, and our shadow isn't looking very natural. So let's go into our object selection tool, and let's see if we could just get the trunk. Okay. Now let's add a layer mask, um, control I. There we go. So now we have the shadow behind the trunk, but it's not looking right. Let's try changing the opacity. Let's change it to multiply. Just bring down the opacity just a little bit because the shadow of the leaves are gonna be a little lighter than the branches because some light is gonna filter through them. So there we go. Let's group these together. That looks pretty natural. Now the reason I used randomized before is so that I could do this. Let's do the next one. Create a new layer by clicking on this plus by not button on the bottom. And now if I go control alt F, it's gonna redo the last filter. And the last filter was the tree. But if you notice, this is not the same tree. It has all the same settings, but it's a slightly different shape. It's all right, so that's it. We have our trees in there. It looks pretty natural especially in the resolutions, this will be seen on, online. We have the shadows. If you like this, click the thumbs up icon down below. If you have any comments or questions, leave them as well.